A local story now gaining national attention tonight after People magazine featured an article about a man from Grand Rapids who's in the hospital suffering from an infection. That infection has cost him both of his legs and a lung. 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum is live outside Butterworth Hospital tonight with this story. Brady? Well, tonight it's touch and go for 31 year old Dale Compick after coming down with sepsis. Now, he's received several blood transfusions, but tonight his family wants to give back even as he fights for his life. Last month, 31 year old Dale Compick checked himself into a Grand Rapids hospital after having trouble breathing and complaining of back pain. Dale had sepsis, which was triggered by a case of pneumonia. At one point, the family was told Dale only had days to live. Tonight, a hospital spokesperson says Dale is in critical condition, a fluid situation as his family and doctors do everything they can to save his life. He's actually a patient currently at the hospital who's had to receive several blood transfusions. Doctors had to remove Dale's two legs and one of his lungs, but Dale survived thanks in part to several blood transfusions. Now his family is hosting blood drives in honor of Dale and to get more people to donate blood. So blood is not something we can manufacture. Anybody who's in the hospital and is in need of a blood transfusion is relying on volunteer blood donors to come out and donate blood. People who donate blood can sign donor cards to let the Compic family know they're donating in honor of Dale. It's tough to say how much blood Dale has needed during his hospitalization. There's not one set number um, for each transfusion. So depending on the condition, what the transfusion is for depends on how much blood they receive as well as what blood components they receive. So the family's reaching out to the community, encouraging their friends and community members to come out and donate in Dale's honor. This wasn't your only chance to donate blood in honor of Dale. Uh, Michigan Blood has its main center on Fuller Avenue where you can fill out one of these donor cards in honor of Dale. Reporting live tonight in Grand Rapids, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.